What it do, bruh? Talk of the town, Nintendo, Doc Trey, still holding it down, still make the best games, and you know this, bro, it's the truth. You don't like it, you can have that seat though. So a couple days ago when I did the video about how it looked like the Switch 2 was confirmed to be 8 nanometers because the source that told us it was 8 nanometers in the first place and also gave us the Tegra T39 name, which ended up being true, had pretty much doubled down on that and a lot of people have been telling me you know oh yeah he got those right but he also got a bunch of things wrong he mixed this up he got this wrong he got his own name wrong last week i'm like damn okay well so a lot of people um do not believe that this eight nanometer thing is correct one because they don't think that it would make sense for Nintendo to go that route. And then also because if it's on a develop on a smaller process, the chances of it being better performing is higher. So of course people are going to want it to be under a smaller process. Well, today I found something very interesting. So a few months ago, if you guys remember, I found a LinkedIn profile from a physical design engineer that used to work for Siliconus Technologies Limited. And this person listed on their LinkedIn profile that they worked on the T239 project for NVIDIA. And what this company do does is um, they tape out um, products like for NVIDIA, for Intel, for people like that, right? So today I found another employee that also is a former employee of Siliconist Technologies. And it's very interesting because this person is, was also a physical design engineer. And this person worked there from February 2020 to October 2022. And I find that interesting that both of these people both work there around the same time, they do the same thing, and they both left around the same time. So what's really interesting is this person posted their resume. <laughs> and unlike the other LinkedIn profile, which didn't give any descriptions, but told the projects they worked on, this one's the complete opposite and says, gives description of what they did, but not what they did it for. So on this person's resume, it lists the last few projects that they worked on and they sound like they were the same projects as the guy before. So the one before it said he worked for Intel on the big core team for RPC CPC projects and in NVIDIA worked for the T239 project, which would be the Nintendo Switch. Well, this person also worked for a project for Intel between February 2020 to December 2020, um, sounding like that's the same exact project. And then, then the reason for this video is a project that they worked on from January 2021 until they uh, weren't working for that company anymore, which would be last October. It was a project for NVIDIA. It says project number one, NVIDIA ID 00921579. I wonder if I could look that up somewhere. And it says technology, five nanometers, instance count, 3.1 million I guess or 3.1 I don't know I don't know what instance count means so I'm, I'm stupid uh frequency it says 2.653 gigahertz so could that potentially be the max clock speed of the switch to CPU that Nintendo would never go with <laughs> I mean they're never going to use the the max clock speed of the chip but that is pretty interesting if that actually is the 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 max clock speed. Now, that's probably a lot higher than people would think because everyone is pretty much expecting 
um, the Switch 2 CPU clock speeds to be roughly around similar to where the Switch is because of how small it is. But if they're really going with five nanometers, if this is the Switch 2, then they can go a little bit higher. They won't go to 2.653 gigahertz, but they can go higher than the Switch. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Um, I don't know if these are the same exact projects, but looking at the timing and the fact that these people did the same exact thing at the same exact company at the same exact time, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that.